and we also remove uh, the old um, container. Finally, I want to um, uh, discuss a little bit this flag, no recreate. Um, this is used in conjunction with the app command uh, from uh, Docker Compose. Um, the important thing here is that the no recreate flag here um, does not restart uh, um, the other um, components uh, that are linked to the API container. Uh, this is particularly important in our use case because we want to um, rebuild and restart the API container but not the other linked container that um, have a dependency. And this is because um, this can these linked containers uh, they have several other dependencies uh, so um, basically restarting one of these containers will basically um, be like restarting the whole uh, um, the whole platform uh, which we don't want we want to keep the link uh, we want to um, the, the API container to um, attach uh, to the existing uh, running container I'm going to do a quick demo now in order to show Jenkins uh, in action first of all I'm going to commit uh, um, a dummy change in the code base. Uh, let's say I'm gonna add myself uh, as a uh, maintainer for the script that my colleague uh, uh, Carl has originally wrote. So this is gonna rebuild from this line down the whole um, docker um, file um, and so it's not going to cache uh, anything so I'm going to commit this change I'm gonna call it dummy change So now we should see within a few minutes uh, um, the API unit test uh, to be rebuilt. Okay, we can see that uh, now the API unit test has started, it, it is blinking. We can actually go in there and uh, have a look at the, the build that just finished it. Uh, um, right now and then we can uh, we can have a look at the console output uh, so we can see that this has been started by uh, automatically by um, uh, Jenkins because of a change in the code base uh, we can see this file has been up, has been updated and here we can see really the commands uh, with all the, the stack of uh, different um, stuff so we go till the end all the unit tests are fine so this is going to trigger this other docker build uh, project um, and in fact we can see it is actually happening at the moment so we go inside the this build then we look at the console output and we can see what uh, um, Jenkins is, is doing so uh, started by the upstream project uh, because of a change uh, in the docker file and here we can see um, that um, this uh, environment variable has been set to dev um, as we saw previously in the um, in the script and here we can see that uh, that's the change I just made and from here on uh, uh, all the um, intermediate containers are removed uh, and um, so there is no caching and uh, everything is restarted uh, uh, rebuilt it uh, again so this will take a little while so there are still a few things um, going on uh, here okay so now I scroll down uh, till the very end uh, we can see that uh, the new uh, image has been uh, uh, built um, this is the script uh, that has been invoked to uh, 
um, restart the container we can see that the, the API container has been stopped and removed and then uh, restarted it uh, with this um, this command uh, and then um, so the, the 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 API container uh, now uh, is up and running with um, the new uh, and is based on the on the new build. Finally, I'm going to show um, a case where a developer breaks one of the unit tests. Um, so I'm going to open one of the um, unit tests in uh, um, written in Python. I'm just going to look for uh, um, something which is supposed to return um, status code of 200. I'm going to change this at 500, so this will will uh, will fail. And I'm going to commit uh, this change. Uh, let me change uh, test failure. We are just going to wait a few minutes uh, that uh, um, Jenkins pulls um, the code base. Uh, okay, we can see now that the API unit tests have been uh, triggered. I'm refreshing, it is blinking. So we go in there. I'm going to go inside the build. Full log. And uh, we should have an error again we can see that this has been started automatically by Jenkins because of a change in this file and then we can see that there is one test uh, that has failed uh, and we can actually even see some nice graphs uh, in in here so it's a little bit red uh, in here. Finally I want to show the monitor view since I broke the build with my um, last commit uh, um, I can show you what we've got in our office on a prominent uh, um, screen which is visible to everybody so you can see that now this build is uh, red, it is broken. You can also see written possible culprit with my name since I'm the last person who broke the build. And this is a sort of a peer pressure motivation for me to um, fix the, um, the code uh, so that this unit tests can be green again. So this is it. Uh, you can contact me at my OUP address or via my website. There is also a blog post on my website about continuous integration with Jenkins, Docker and Compose. I hope you enjoyed this screencast.